there are three different ways you can use the past client stage or the closed stage and follow up boss depending on your needs. Scenario number one is you can use the closed stage for past clients you worked with, but you don't want to stay in touch with them. They were more of a nightmare client per se, or just someone who wasn't a great fit, but you do want record that you did work with them in the past. So you'll put them in the closed stage so they don't show up in any of your smart lists for continual follow-up or go into any automated drip. But otherwise, for past clients you do want to stay in touch with via automation, action plan, and smart list, you would use the past client stage. This is what most people use. The second scenario is some people use the closed stage for people they worked with this year. So for example, if you worked with someone in 2023, they would be in the closed stage. But once 2023 passes, they would move the lead to or the past client to the past client stage. Reason for this is perhaps you want to do more often follow up, more frequent follow up with people who are in the closed stage to check in to see how they're doing uh, post sale or post closing on their home. And then you can space out your follow up a little bit more, maybe once a quarter, once the year has passed. So normally you would create two smart lists in this case, one with a stage closed with last communication more than let's say 30 days ago. And then once they get moved to the past client stage, it's every 90 days. And then the third scenario is for people who want to keep it as simple as possible, or they use the Zillow two-way sync and they have to use the closed stage. In this case, a lot of uh, people will use only closed stage and not past client to keep it simple and put all past clients regardless of whether or not they were a good client and want to keep in touch with or if they were closed this year or last year. I hope you found this video helpful. Please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss my next videos for more quick tips for using Follow Boss.